Three days left of quarantine. Initially, this was gonna be a day in the life sort of video. Like, what's it like to actually live in quarantine? Something I didn't think through. It's not very fun to watch somebody do a day in the life vlog when their life is literally sitting in a room for 14 days. Really, the only interesting thing that happens to me on a day-to-day -day basis is the fact that there's constantly protests going on outside. <laughs> Ever since my third day of being here, there's been a protest every single day except for one. Basically, they're protesting the fact that this quarantine facility is right in the middle of a residential area. They think it's a health risk, despite the fact that Korea has by far had the best COVID response and is down to almost no cases a day. I guess the complaint is reasonable, but I would take them a lot more seriously if they weren't down there wearing no masks for multiple hours a day. But other than that, quarantine is inherently really boring. But I know a lot of people are still interested in the exact specifics, so I thought instead of doing a day in the life vlog, I'd do a general overview and talk about some of my quarantine tips and the biggest things that I'm taking away from it. Okay, so what's it actually like to be in quarantine? Well, the day starts off at about 6.30 or 7. You can't really get up much later than that because breakfast is delivered at 7.30. Something I'm gonna say right off the bat, the food here is awful. I've never had a meal that I've been happy with. They feed me more than enough food with a nice variety of food to eat. Salad, pineapple, yogurt, banana, orange juice, moon pie, two coffees, and some brown rice tea. So I can't really complain that I'm not getting fed right, just not getting fed well. So tip number one for quarantine is bring your own snacks. I brought a big bag of beef jerky, a massive bag of trail mix, and they supplied me with their own snacks too. And almost all of them were wiped out in the first like five days. And I don't even eat snacks very often, but boredom and just awful food end up leading to you eating snacks. So definitely bring as much as you can. And the thing that sucks too is the meals look really good, but they're just so tasteless. After you get done with breakfast, you're free to do whatever you want until the doctors come around. They'll take your temperature and ask how you're doing. But after that, except for lunch and dinner, you will have no other scheduled thing. So my second tip for being in quarantine is to stay productive. And though one of my friends has kindly offered several times to give me their Netflix password, I've resisted the urge every single time because I'm trying to stay as productive as possible. For me to keep my mental health stable, it's really important that I get some important work done. It doesn't have to be much, but just working on some music, editing these vlogs, setting any sort of goal and aspiring to reach that goal. These are good tips for the quarantine we're all experiencing day to day right now, but it's especially true when you literally cannot leave your room. All right, my third tip for being in quarantine, stay active. I know it sounds so dumb and so weird. How the heck do you stay active during quarantine? I can't work out like I usually do, which is incredibly annoying, but there are a few things that you can still do. And I have been using this new Fitbit every single day. Every hour, it reminds me to move at least 250 steps. There's a surprising amount of room to pace back and forth. I'll just put on a podcast just to burn a little bit of extra calories and to keep my blood flowing. Definitely recommend doing whatever you can to stay as active as you can. Another thing that's really important is not staying up until 2 a.m. on YouTube like I usually do at home. A good sleep schedule is incredibly important. So my fourth and final tip for quarantine is to get good sleep. Like I said, there's only three days left of quarantine and surprisingly, I have a lot to take away from it. It's probably just about the weirdest way you could be introduced to a new country, but I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. From now on, the vlogs will completely change. By the time you guys hear from me next, I will be out of quarantine and meeting up with the MSC. We will be going to her home in Daejeon and starting all of our amazing adventures. The vlog is really going to be for us to document our adventures just to be able to have something to look back on and reminisce and have a nice documentation of everything that we did together. So thank you guys for sticking with me during quarantine, but we are done. So I will see you guys around. Hopefully you're all doing well. I love you all and I miss you all a lot. Catch you guys around.